Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to my Teach for Love channel. It's Mr. Galvez here with another fun holiday activity. Today, we're going to use a single sheet of paper. You heard me. I said a single sheet of paper to create a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer headband. We're going to make pretend that we are Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because we're looking at the Rudolph story today. We've been singing his song. We've been practicing the dance for the song. And now we're going to make our own reindeer hats. So here we go. Using a single sheet of paper. Lower our camera there, our high-tech camera. There we go. So there's my sheet of paper. I'm using a regular photocopy sheet of paper. You can use any kind of paper you'd like. It can even have stripes on it. It can be brown. If you use construction paper, it's even better because it's stronger. And uh, when you use this kind of paper, it sort of folds over, especially if you color on it. So what I want to do is I'm going to fold three equal folds on here, three equal rectangles. So I take one side of my paper and I fold it over. And I'm trying to see if this rectangle here is the same size as this rectangle. So I'm letting my camera adjust a little bit so you can see. This rectangle is just about the same if I eyeball it, right? I don't have a ruler out. I'm just using my eyes to estimate. Now I'm gonna press down. Press down, okay. Now I can open that up and I can fold over the other side to that line, or I can just fold over this space here, whatever you, you would like whatever you feel better doing. All right, folding the other side, make sure my edges meet, press down and squeeze all the way. Just make sure your edges are straight. Here we are, use my nail a little bit. So I have three, three parts. I just folded my paper into thirds, one, two, three, and they're pretty even, pretty equal, okay? So I'm actually gonna cut this and I'm gonna cut this out, glue them together to make a headband. And then the rest I will use to make my antlers and my nose. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna trace this with a marker so you can see it better. And then we will cut it out and draw the other parts. So I'm gonna use my markers that way you really, really can see what I'm doing. So I'll go ahead and trace this line. You don't need to trace this line, guys. As soon as you make the folds, you can, you can go ahead and get your scissors ready. Remember, there's certain techniques that we use with our scissors. I have a big set of teacher scissors. Your scissors are probably shorter and smaller for your little hand. But you take three fingers, your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger, put it inside the big hole. Then you take your thumb and you put your thumb inside the little hole. You open and close, open and close. Never have your fingers inside of the blades, never. That's a big, big no-no, do not do that. And don't put scissors next to your face, next to your mouth, next to your eye. That's a big no-no, they're not toys. Scissors are tools not toys, okay? The tool, not a toy. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these lines that I made, cut right along them. Do you remember that Mr. Galvez said, do not cut all the way with your scissors? The only time I ever cut all the way, this is what all the way means when I go like this. That's called cutting all the way. Usually I just go like this when I'm cutting. I just cut a little bit and I turn my paper. I cut, I turn, I cut, I turn. But I never go like this all the way. I only go all the way, watch, at the very end. See right here, I just do a little. I cut and I move the paper, cut and move the paper, cut and move the paper, cut and move the paper. Only at the very end, right here at the end, I'll cut all the way because it's the last thing I need to do. 
So now I'm going to match. I'm going to see which paper has the same size. These two match pretty good right there. They connect pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these two pieces together. And I'll save this for my antlers. So let me just set this aside and let's work on the antlers and the nose of Rudolph. So to make the nose of Rudolph, I'm going to make a square. I'm going to I'm going to separate a square. So there's a square. That's where I will draw my circle for my nose. So I know I can cut that off. Now I have this amount of space to do my antlers. I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. There's a reason why I'm folding it in half. Pay attention to which side has the fold. This is the fold and this is the open side. The fold, we're going to sort of do what we did when we made our snowflakes. We're going to use the fold to be my centerpiece. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna cut that, that fold anyway. We're gonna use that fold to do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a shape, a shape that I wanna show you. All right, there we go. Let's, let me show you what I did. I sort of made that kind of shape on it. This is the bottom of his antler. It's what's gonna go attached to our headband. And then these are his antlers. I made them round at the top. Can you see how I made them round at the top? Because he's a young reindeer. Rudolph is a very young reindeer. So the top of his antlers are soft and round. So try to draw something like that. And you only have to do it once because since our paper is folded, when we cut this out, you're actually gonna make two sets. You're gonna make the right set of antlers and the left set of antlers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now. Watch when I cut, I turn my paper and I do not close my scissors all the way. Do not cut all the way. I turn. Turn my paper and I do not cut all the way. Cut and I turn. Cut and I turn. Cut and I turn. There we go. Now, when you open it up, just like with our snowflakes, you're going to see two sets and they're going to look exactly the same. You see? So, there's our two antlers. And you can actually just leave them together if you wanted to. You could just leave them together and just fit it right into your, into your, um, headband. It'll, it'll look nice if we just leave it just like that. It's easier. It's less work. So we're going to just leave it together. We're going to color this before attaching it though. Okay. So I'll set it to the side. This becomes scrap. We don't need this because I know what we need already. We only need three parts. The headband part made out of these two rectangles, the square part for our nose and the antlers we just took care of. So set that aside. Let's work on the nose. It will be helpful if you have a little cup, like Mr. Galva showed you yesterday, using a cup to trace. This cup is too big. My bell would work pretty good. So I think I'll use my bell. Something that can give you a perfect round shape. And you want it to be pretty big. I mean, if you can get it to be this big, it would be great. This was from last year, I think. 
I cut out this big shiny nose out of red paper. So try to get a cup or something that you can trace around that will give you a nice big round. Look how Mr. Galvez does this, guys. I try to go around. I hold it down. You see how I'm holding it with my finger here? I'm holding it so this doesn't move around. And I go inside underneath my finger as much as I can. And I start wrapping around my bell or cup or whatever you're using until I can connect with the line where I started it from. I lift it up and I have a perfect circle right there. So now I can start coloring. And after I'm done coloring, I will put some black on the outer edge to make it really pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and color my reindeer nose. I wanna be as neat as I can. There is my big red shiny nose. We will trace around it with a black marker to make it really pop out. I'll trace a little bit and then turn my paper. Trace a little bit and turn. Trace and turn. There we go. There's my big shiny Rudolph nose. Now let's color the antlers. I think I will use this color for the antlers. I've seen antlers are brown. So I will go ahead and color my antlers brown. Now I should have, Mr. Galvez should have colored this before cutting, cutting it out. When I started cutting, when I started cutting, I was like, oh, I should have colored first, but it was too late. So I went ahead and I started the cutting process anyway, but I knew that I should have, I should have colored first. It's always easier if you color before you cut things out. I put another paper underneath because I didn't want to get marker all over. This brown marker is dying. Backup brown. Hopefully this backup brown is working better than this one. Oh my goodness gracious. Not working better. Hold on guys, I'm going to have to I'm going to replace our brown. Either one of these browns are good.
Okay, guys, I got some supplies that I needed. Brand new markers, and I'm gonna do something special with this. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. All right, so I'm gonna continue recording now. Let's take out that brown marker that I needed, and we'll say bye-bye to these. These are dried out. Okay, that's why I always tell you also, I always tell you guys to close up your markers. Not recording. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tell you guys to um, always close up your markers because if you don't close your markers up, they will dry out on you. Even this one, this is a brand new marker. I guess just with age, they just start drying out. All right, so I'm shading, I'm coloring my soft brown antlers. I hope you're coloring your antlers. I'm sort of scrolling through just to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. We're all making our Rudolph antlers here. If you make this out of um, construction paper, the antlers will be stronger. I can, I can show you a technique to make the antlers stronger since we're using just a, a regular piece of paper. It's, it's not gonna be the strongest, but you can double up the paper and that will make the antlers stronger. So if I were to put this here, and trace it, I could actually get a, um, a stronger set of antlers. So I think I might do that because these are a little bit floppy. They're flopping around right now. I'm gonna trace it, I'm gonna press down, I'm holding it, tracing around with my pencil. You do not wanna trace with a marker um, just because you could, if you use a different color, could trace around with a brown marker, but it's always better when you're doing sketch work, when you're when you're doing something that like tracing or just sketching an idea out, it's always best to use a pencil because the pencil lets you erase if you make a boo-boo. So I traced out my antlers. Oh, Mr. Gavis did another boo-boo here. I should have doubled the paper. No problem, quick and easy solution. I just folded the paper in half. So now whatever I cut out will come out on two pieces, but they're gonna be folded a different way. It's okay. All I'm doing with this is I'm gonna glue it behind here. So this, this doesn't really matter. I don't even need to color this one. It's just a reinforcement to make my antler stronger. Oh, I definitely don't wanna color this one. I don't wanna color this because the coloring, I told you at the very beginning of our video today, I told you that coloring makes the paper get weaker. It makes it heavier and bend over. So this one, I do not want to color. It's just a reinforcement to make my reindeer antler stronger. And I'm hoping it gets stronger. Because I don't know, it might not get stronger. Since we're going to put glue, the glue makes it heavier and then it might bend over anyway. Mamma mia. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's another way you could have made the antlers. If you bent it that way, the antlers would have stuck up more. Maybe that would have been cool too. But I'm going to cut these in half right there on my line that I made. And I'm gonna stick these to the back of these antlers. So not on the brown side, but on the, on the white side. And I'm gonna glue those. I'm not gonna put too much glue. I'm gonna put very little glue on there. Yesterday I was showing you how to use the glue bottle, but I will use the glue stick today. And I will not put that much, okay? Remember when you use your glue, stick don't take it all the way out like that that's way too much just a little bit at a time about that much is good 
put a little bit of glue there. Not too much. The more you put, the heavier it's going to get. You don't have to put uh, an extra piece of paper behind your antlers. This is just an extra step Mr. Galvez is doing just to make his antlers a little bit stronger. Okay, that's all I'm doing. You do not have to do this step. The edges are always the, the most important part to glue. So if you don't glue the edges, the paper just sort of comes right off. All righty. I'll stick it right on top there. Stick it right on the tippy top. Very good. Great, now my antlers are stronger and they're not flopping over now. So I'll have to do some trimming or not. I can use that white part that you see, all of that white extra part. I'm gonna be coloring around the antlers now with black. So I don't really need to trim that. I'm just gonna save time. And since I'm gonna trim it with black, see all of these are extra little steps that I could have saved myself if I would have just colored first instead of uh, cutting first, but it's all right. Let me work on top of my paper. If I do not color the desk. Big black strong line on the outside of my antlers. I color and turn, I color and turn. Putting a big strong black line on the outside of my antlers. Very good job, guys. You guys do wonderful artwork. I'm always excited to see what my kindergartners do. They always surprise me, especially my kindergartners that say, I can't do it. I don't know how to do that. And then when they try their best, they surprise even themselves. They're like, whoa, I didn't know I could do that. And it looks amazing. And then I'm so proud. And your mommies and daddies and your grandparents are so proud. They're like, that is amazing. There we go. I traced all around. I still see a little bit of white. I'm going to try to knock that out if I can. All right, it looks pretty good. Let's look there. I see some white there. Let me try to take care of that. Couldn't see that before. All right, looks lovely. Look at that. We're ready to put that on our headband in a moment, but we haven't even colored our headband. So the nose is ready and the antlers are ready, but the reindeer headband is not ready yet. Now, we can have a lot of fun with this headband because this is where we can tell the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We haven't read the book or seen the movie yet, but we have sang the song, we've sung the song. And since we've sung the song, we know, we know the story. The story is in the song. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Let me make sure this is gonna fit around my head. My goodness, is this gonna even fit, Mr. Galvin? Hold on a second, I'm testing it around my head. That ain't even gonna fit around your head, Mr. Galvez. It might fit around your head, boys and girls, because your head is tinier than mine, but I think I'm gonna have to add a third piece of paper. So if yours doesn't fit around your head, you're gonna to have to add a third piece of papur, of papur. So here is my extra piece of paper. I thought I could do it just out of one paper. Mamma mia, Mr. Galvez, you are telling these children a misinformation. You said you could do it only with one paper and now you are having to use three pieces of paper. Well, I'm sorry, guys. What can I tell you? I miscalculated. 
let me save this because if I need to color, I will color on top of there. And I'll do the same step again, the one, two, three step I did at the beginning. But this time I just need to use one of these strips. Yeah, I miscalculated, I'm very sorry. It looks like you may need to use two pieces of paper to do this project. Unless your head is small enough, you are kindergartners. So it may work with just one sheet of paper. All right, I got my third piece. So now what I'm gonna do is glue these three pieces of paper together so I can begin my coloring phase my coloring phase, which is always a lot of fun. So go ahead, use my glue stick, take a little bit out. But this time I can put a lot of glue, it doesn't matter. All right, never want to go crazy, but you do want to give yourself maybe like an, almost an inch of glue right there, stick it on right away. If not, the glue will dry out and then it won't do anything, it won't stick. So press it down. That's two pieces stuck together. I will need a third. So I'll repeat the same process right over here. Apply the glue, a nice amount of glue, almost an inch of glue. Stick the piece right on there. All right, there you go. I have three pieces, so that's long enough for my headband. When I put it around my head, I wanna make sure it fits all the way around. With a little bit extra. So it's definitely gonna work. I'm going to attach my antlers right inside of there like that. And then I'm going to put the nose right there. Right there like that. Okay, but I have to cut out the circle still. I have to cut out my circle. I haven't done that. And I haven't decorated my headband. Right now it's just white. White, 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 white. I want to tell the story about Rudolph. I haven't even done that yet. Let's go ahead and cut out the circle. Yeah. Automatic camera, lower, lower my automatic camera. Okay, here we go. Let's cut around. I'm doing a circle, so I definitely have to turn my paper a lot. I keep turning as I'm cutting, and I do not cut down all the way. I just press down my scissors. I open and close, <clears throat> and I turn while I'm cutting. Turn while you cut. I turn while I cut. I turn and turn and turn, and I turn while I cut. There we go. There is my shiny red nose. Got my antlers. Uh, one idea that I really like that, um, that Naya's mom did was that she cut two little eyes for, for, um, for Rudolph. So we can also do that. I could have made those two eyes out of the scrap from the other paper. Since I have some scrap paper here, I'm gonna go ahead and make two cute little eyesy wiseys. Two cute little eyesy wiseys. So I'm gonna use something that I can trace to make my nice circles. Mr. Galvez knows how to make nice circles without tracing, but I'm showing you the tracing technique because it makes perfect circles every time. So I'm using a folded piece of paper. That way I only need to do the work one time. If you ever want two equal parts, all you gotta do is fold the paper in half, draw it once, cut it out, and then you got two equal, we call that symmetrical shapes or parts, okay? So there it is right there. And I did say to color first, right? I'm only gonna be able to color one of these first. I'll start by coloring this one. I'm gonna trace it with my black. Gonna do sort of like what we did with um, with Frosty yesterday. We're gonna sort of draw a half circle. Draw a half circle, 
and that will be his eyeball looking like one direction. Trace it with the black marker and then fill it in. Fill in his eye. There you go. Now when you cut it out, you're gonna have to color the other eyeball. So there I go, I start cutting and I turn around. Cutting the eyeball out. We're gonna be gluing these to our headband. I cut and I turn. I cut and I turn. I cut and I turn and I cut and I turn. So you got two eyeballs now, but this one doesn't have any coloring on it. So I'll have to trace around, color and turn. This one's a little harder. Looks like it would have been easier to trace two separate circles, Mr. Galvez. You're trying to make things easier, but you're actually making them harder. What's going on, mister? That's what I really enjoy about making art. I learn things, you know, I, I make boo-boos, but I don't give up. I just try to remember next time so I don't make the same boo-boo. But if you make a boo-boo, sometimes those boo-boos teach you something and then your artwork comes out even more special because there's a surprise, something you weren't expecting. So I got my cute two little eyeballs. I wanna close my scissors so I don't cut myself with the blade to the side. Have all my parts ready, right? I can see that my antlers need a little bit more glue here. One of the parts is sticking up. There we go. All my parts are ready. It's actually gonna be like this, something like that, right? Cute, starting to look like a real Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. All right, now the fun part is, or the, the other fun part, I should say, because all of this is really fun, is designing my headband. This is where I get to tell the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right up here. And I wanna use the whole thing. I wanna tell the whole story. I wanna tell the story just like in the song. It says, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so I can draw Rudolph. Had a very shiny nose. I can draw his nose glowing. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. Okay, so that's happening. All of the other reindeer, I draw the reindeer here laughing at him. Used to laugh and call him names. They were being mean to Rudolph. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. And then I can draw a foggy night. Oh, but wait, leave a space in the middle. So if this is the middle of my, um, my headband, I'm gonna leave that space just for the antlers. Yeah, don't draw anything in the middle of your, of your uh, reindeer hat. The middle will be for your nose and eyes to make it look like Rudolph. But on the side parts, on the side parts here, you can draw the story. The foggy night, right? Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? You can draw Rudolph leading all the other reindeer on the sleigh, right? But save the middle part, the part that's going to go right over your forehead, save that for Rudolph. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this now, and we will watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer together, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so that we can draw our story on the rest of our reindeer hat. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna be doing this upside down, but I'm hoping that it's gonna come out all right. I'm only gonna actually put glue on half of Rudolph's nose, because I'm gonna let the other half go over onto my forehead. This is an experiment. I'm trying it out. Put eyes down, some glue on the back of their eyes. It's going to be looking to the right.
And now I'm going to put some glue here on the inside of my on the outside of my antler, but I'm going to put it on the inside of my band headband. And I press down. As they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, a jewel go down in his story. Let's see what this looks like. It's gonna be silly to see. I put it on my head like this. Holy moly. And now I look like Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. You see that red dot is like right on top of my nose. I am Rudolph now. I don't even look like Mr. Galvez anymore. I look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Nice. Brianna, I want to see yours now. I'm going to take a look at yours, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I think I'm going to put, no, I'm going to have to end it here because we're going to have to watch the movie together. That's all, boys and girls. I hope you had fun making your Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer bandana headband thingamabobber. Just color it and design it and it will look fantastic. I think we're going to go ahead and do that first so you can see the finished product before we watch the movie together. How about we do that, huh? So I'm just going to do some movie magic and press pause here. And then when I press unpause, you will see my story come to life. All right, let me see what you've done. Naya, that looks incredible, Naya. So as you can see, Mr. Galvez has drawn all his pictures, but I haven't finished coloring yet. So there's Rudolph's face. Here is Rudolph practicing on how to shine his nose in the dark. There is Santa. He's practicing pulling Santa on the sleigh. He's doing some test runs. On this side, I have Rudolph starting to learn how to fly, starting to learn how to fly. And Santa is pulling the eight reindeer, but they're not using Rudolph yet because he needs to practice and get better. And then he'll be able to take them through the fog. I'm going to finish coloring and then I will show you the rest of my headband when it's finished. I'll show you my Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer headband. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, a Santa came to say, Rudolph. So one of, one of the things that the Rudolph story teaches us is not to be a bully. It's to love everyone around you because sometimes what you think is weird is actually a special ability. His weird shiny red nose was actually exactly what Santa Claus needed to fly through the fog. No one else could shine the light and see through the foggy night except for Rudolph. You see, I've colored it there with brown and green and red and yellow. I've colored it. Here is the whole reindeer team flying with Santa, except they don't have Rudolph in the very front. Rudolph needs to keep practicing. And once he's ready, then Santa Claus will say, okay, join my sleigh tonight. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him. As they shouted out with glee, Wee! Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history. So there is my beautiful Rudolph hat. I'm going to go ahead and close it up now. Let me do one final test to make sure it's the right size. So don't, 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 don't. There it is. I'm gonna press it down. So don't, 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 don't. I'm gonna have to let it dry, I think, before actually wearing it. Because if I put it on right now and I don't let it dry, it will sort of just open. It won't stick. And then it won't work. It'll be a problem. I don't want it to be a problem. Okay. 
So there it is. Do a quick test run. I'm gluing it. I glued it. There is Rudolph. I got my story. The side. See the side. There are the eight, the eight reindeer. There's Rudolph testing himself, testing his skills. Ta-da! So I hope you've had fun making your reindeer hat with me, boys and girls. Go ahead and put them on, and we're getting ready to watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer together. Yay! I love you. Thank you for joining today with Mr. Galvez on my Teach for Love channel. Bye, everybody. Click like and subscribe. Bye-bye. All right, Michaela, let's see yours. Looks 